Welcome to Grow and Give, a modern victory garden project from Colorado State University Extension. We're here to help you learn to grow food for yourself, your family, your neighbors, and your community. Share the harvest, keep it local. Insect pests of vegetable gardens, the harlequin bug. Harlequin bugs are flat, orange, black, and white true bugs. So they have a piercing sucking mouth part. They don't physically take chunks out of the plant itself. Rather, they impale the plant and pull the sap from it. They're serious pests of plants like cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, turnips, radishes, or horseradish. They feed especially on the growing tips of the plants and that causes a lot of distortion. Very often what it will do is make uh, cabbages, broccoli, or cauliflower unable to form heads and you won't get a harvest at all. Here's a photograph of a couple of nymphs of the harlequin bug. You can see they don't have that strong orange coloration. Rather, they have black and white stripes with some orangey yellow highlights along the back. See how they're damaging the leaf that they're on? With their straw-like mouth part, they're piercing the tissue of the leaf and drawing sap from it. With heavy infestations, the plants that they attack will develop this kind of a milky or cloudy look to it and they'll wilt. This is something that is not the uh, thing that the plant will recover from if temperatures cool off in the evening. Scout your plants, checking on the underside of leaves for these eggs themselves. There are two generations per year of this insect, so check often and crush the eggs when you find them. I wish I could tell you that there was an easy sort of a pesticide option for controlling this insect, but there simply isn't any. What you need to do as a gardener is to go out with a bucket of soapy water and knock these insects into it as you're scouting your garden to try and get control of some of the nymphs and the adults that are feeding. And then most crucial of all is meticulous fall cleanup of the garden itself to rob these insects of any place that they would overwinter. Pick up all leaf debris and then turn the soil over so that there are no soil cracks for them to tuck themselves down into. If the infestation is truly severe, consider not planting any of the crops within the host range of this particular insect. Learn more, grow more. Contact your local CSU Extension office.